Nudism or the practice of going without clothes is often viewed as taboo or even radical in many societies. But for me, the idea of living without clothes was both intriguing and intimidating. As someone who's always been fairly comfortable in their own skin, I wanted to see if I could push my boundaries and explore the world of nudism. I booked a little trip to a, a, a rustic nudist resort in the mountains of West Virginia, and I was off. When I first started this nudist journey, I have to admit, it was tough. Uh, the thought of going to have a drink or, or shoot, even walking around without clothes made me, you know, not just a little bit anxious. I worried about what others would think and I was afraid of being judged or stared at. Plus there were the practical issues, like how would I even carry my wallet or my phone without any pockets? Here's a pro tip, a fanny pack works very well for this purpose. But back, but back to my story. As I started to get into a routine, I realized that the biggest obstacle was actually within my own mindset. The first day was brutal. I felt exposed and vulnerable and every little thing made me self-conscious. I'd, I'd catch myself, you know, adjusting non-existing clothes or, or covering up out of habit. The first time I actually stepped out of my room, I thought there was going to be a camera crew jump out and tell me I'd been punked and you were the only one that was nude anywhere around here. But luckily that never happened. And don't even get me started on passing by the mirror. It was like I was looking at a stranger, someone I didn't fully recognize. You know, but as the days went on, I, I gotta say, I started to notice subtle changes. I felt more confident in, in my own skin and my worries about what others would think kind of faded away. One of the biggest challenges I faced was navigating social situations. Going to restaurants or the little bar without clothes was definitely out of my comfort zone, but I knew I had to push through if I wanted to make this experiment work. I started small, having lunch with a few new friends uh, who were very supportive of my journey, and gradually worked my way up to public outings. Uh, showing up at a barn dance nude was a bit daunting, but I survived it. And it was amazing to see how quickly I adapted. You know, I mean, soon I was even strolling through the grounds without a second thought. As the days after this trip turned into weeks, I started noticing some other changes too. I was more mindful of my body. I was taking care of it in ways I never had before. I exercised more often. I ate healthier and even started practicing yoga however badly, you know, to, to improve my flexibility. I still have a good ways to go, I'll admit that, but I am seeing progress and that's awesome. And weirdly enough, I felt more connected to nature, being without clothes, it, it made me more grounded and, and at peace. But the moment that really changed my perspective on nudism came when I met a fellow nudist who shared their story with me. They told me about how they had struggled with body dysmorphic disorder and how nudism had helped them overcome it. Hearing his story made me realize that nudism wasn't just about being without clothes, it was about self-acceptance, self-love, and being comfortable in your own skin. And nudists are some of the friendliest people you could ever want to meet, so, so what, what a better support group could you find? And as I reflect on my first experience, I'm struck by how much I've grown and learned since then. Uh, nudism has taught me to be more confident, more self-aware, and even more accepting of myself and others. It's shown me that it's okay to be different, to challenge societal norms, and to embrace my own uniqueness. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me on this journey, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on nudism or body positivity in the comments below. And I'd appreciate that if you like what you see on the channel, that you hit that like and subscribe button, it helps us greatly. Uh, and if you're interested in exploring more content on being on natural, Make sure you check out my other videos. And I'm gonna leave you with a final pro tip. Don't forget the sunscreen and your towel.